us now, Veteran Safety R.J. Mickens. Y'all fire away with questions whenever you're ready. R.J., just what was your personal assessment of your performance on Saturday? Um, you know, I thought I played well. Uh, there were some plays that, um, you know, I wish I could get back. But, um, you know, our defense uh, really played good for two quarters. And, you know, I feel like we got to put the whole game together. So. What was Coach Goodwin's message to the defense when you guys told him that? to look over you know, and, and talk about the, the game? Uh, you know, it was just defend the bladed grass. You know, we just got to control what we can control and uh, just be great where our feet are, you know, and, and, um, and you know, just defend the bladed grass. So just play with a, um, you know, it doesn't matter mindset and um, dominate the down that we're playing. What do you think about Colin and his first start? Uh, you know, for Colin, for that being, you know, his first start in that big of a game, I thought he did really well, you know. A lot of pressure was on him, and I think he really responded well. Obviously, the result being what it was, I mean, how do you guys not allow doubt to creep in in terms of where you guys are moving forward, I guess? Yeah, I mean, you know, we practice, you know, like every, we've been practicing for the past month or so, so we really know what we have, and we just got to stay inside out. That's really how we eliminate, you know, doubt. Is it hard to stay inside out phones and all that? No, I mean, I just, you know, it's really just a choice you got to make. You know, you just got to, you know, decide not to read stuff, to stay off of social media, you know, as much as you can, and just, you know, ignore what people are saying. RJ, what the last two days been like for you guys? Uh, you know, obviously coming off a, a, a huge opportunity like that and missing it is, is, is tough, but, you know, just trying to, Stay out the um, stay out the rearview mirror and just move forward. You know, focus on App State and um, and you know just put our best performance on the field this Saturday. Coach Lee mentioned missed opportunities a number of times when he was in here talking with us a short time ago. Has that been part of the focus? The, the missed opportunities that kind of start to pile up in a game like that. Yeah, you know, in a big game like that, mo momentum is a lot, and um, you know we just could never get the ball rolling. You know, on both sides. And, uh, you know, defense got to keep, you know, staying, staying focused and, and, and playing great defense. And we just couldn't do that, and we didn't do that. So um, we just didn't get it done. How excited are you to be back in Death Valley playing in a night game? Uh, you know, there's no atmosphere like Death Valley. You know, it's really special, especially the uh, night game. So really excited for that. Um, you know, it's a huge reason, you know, on what makes this place so special is night games in the Valley. So I'm really you know, thankful for that and looking forward to it. What did you think of um, how uh, the cornerbacks played uh, as a group? Obviously, it's a big game experience group for two stars out there. So, uh, yeah, I mean, those those guys, you know, putting a lot of work and, um, you know, it really showed, you know, regardless of, you know, playing, playing DB, people only really notice the bad plays, you know. And unfortunately, people want to see catches and touchdowns, but they don't notice the good coverage when he doesn't throw it. Or the pass break up or the tackle is just kind of overlooked. So, you know, you just see a, a touchdown, you know, on, you know, Jaden Lucas, and you're like, oh, man. Yeah. But he played a really good game and made a lot of good tackles and, and did a lot of good stuff. And same with Avion, you know, so it's a tough position to play. Yeah, was when you mentioned that in the opener, tackling sometimes can be an issue. You came away with that relatively clean. Just can, as a player, can you sort of walk through how difficult it is maybe when you're not getting as many reps in practice to? Be able to get that kind of competition? Um, you know, we really practice against great guys every day. And, you know, coach does a good job of rotating everybody. And, you know, you just got to translate it from the practice field to the game field. And I feel like we did that pretty well. Um, you know, there was a couple tackles and uh, some, some just details, leveraging the ball, you know, stuff like that that got sloppy later in the game. And uh, we just got to focus on, you know, staying inside out and, and responding and just, just staying, on, staying on cue. Have you watched much film on App State, and if so, what have you seen from their offense? Yeah, I mean they're a really good team. You know they're they're not you know like Coach said they're not gonna sneak up on anybody. We we already know what they can do, and uh, you know they got a great coach, and their quarterback is a really good ball player. I mean he makes plays, improvises, and um, you know finds open guys, and you know he's really elusive too. So uh, we just gotta come prepared, just like just like we did. You know we got prepared like we're playing Georgia, so we just gotta keep the standard the same. Any questions for RJ virtually? Anybody else in the room? 
Say, RJ, what's just the difference in, in mentality going from a neutral site game against the number one ranked team versus coming back home versus a, you know a different team? What's the mentality change, if any? Uh, you know, there really is no mentality change. You know, that's a great opportunity that we miss, but you know, this is a great opportunity to um, you know just regain some momentum and um, you know come come put on the show in Death Valley and and you know just get back on track. No, I heard about it though. I don't think it's open yet, but it's about to be here. No, I heard about it, and I think it's in. Is it in Greenville? I think it's in Anderson. Anderson. Oh, yeah, I think they opened one in Greenville too. But yeah, I heard about. it. I need to go there. Are you Are you a fan of Waterburger? I'm a pretty big fan of Waterburger. It's pretty good. I mean, it's it's nothing like crazy, like. But you do got to try it, and it's open, you know, 24/7. And the menu from 11 p.m. to 11 a.m. is really good. So. Go-to item on the menu. Uh, I get the honey butter chicken biscuit, That's right. honey butter chicken biscuit, or the uh, honey barbecue chicken chip sandwich meal. So one of those two every time. I guess for, uh, for Kylan, make him start on Saturday. I guess what has, what has he shown during in preseason practice for Coach Sweeney and Coach Goodwin? Kind of make him get, get get him to start on Saturday. Yeah, uh, you know, he showed a lot of confidence during camp, and um, you know, a lot of playmaking ability, and you know, he had a really good camp. And, um, you know, it showed up on Saturday. And, you know, there's, of course, some plays that he wishes he could get back. Same with all of us. But, you know, overall, I thought he, I, I thought he held us on and did pretty good. RJ, did anything surprise you about how you guys played on Saturday? Uh, you know, nothing really surprised me. You know, I knew we could play with him. And, um, you know, we just, we just you know, let the game get away from us, you know, late, late. But um, I don't think anything really surprised me. You know, they kind of – did kind of what we expected and you know we really handled it well you know for two quarters so just stand stand on schedule and you know just keep it on keep it on anybody else for rj all right thank you rj